Your 4th of July barbecue menu could include meat grown in a lab. Our Kelsey Thorod got a sample of the first cultivated chicken approved for our plates. Well, both of the companies who got USDA approval to sell their cell cultivated chicken are based here in the East Bay within just a few miles of each other. And today, I got to speak with both companies, tour their facilities, and even taste some of the chicken here at Good Meat. Inside of these tanks at Good Meat's facility in Alameda, some of the country's first USDA approved cell cultivated chicken is being grown. So what it looks like inside these tanks is, is a little bit different than a chicken breast. But it, it's, it's basically uh, what I would call a cell culture broth. The chicken breast is grown using chicken cells. The process takes about a month in all, and this facility alone can produce up to tens of thousands of pounds of meat per year. The goal of this facility is to make small, make small quantities, to introduce it to consumers, and to uh, you know, get that kind of feedback from consumers and, and to show people that this is for real and actually how good it tastes. And we got a chance to taste it. Good Meat has a staff of chefs on hand who prepared a sampling. It's a sweet potato puree. Uh, we have some heirloom beans that have just been mixed with a couple different herbs, um, some local squash, uh, a charred sweet corn and pickle relish, and then our chicken that's been grilled and sliced and put on top. It's good. It is kind of a, a little different of a texture, mm -hmm. but it is good. To me, I feel like we're at um, kind of like a rotisserie chicken mm -hmm. texture for me. Joshua Tetrick, the co-founder and CEO of Good Meat, says he believes cell cultivated meat is the future. It may seem strange to some right now, but he says all innovative ideas and products started out that way. Coca-Cola was launched in exactly the same way. Um, computers were launched in exactly the same way. TVs were launched in exactly the same way. It starts off small. People doubt that the economics ultimately will get low enough to reach a broad audience. And then it does. The folks at Upside Foods, the other company that got USDA approval, are also banking on that future. They, like Good Meat, are already experimenting with other cell-cultivated meat products at their facility in Emeryville. We've pl played around in our kitchens with things from dumplings and sausages to hot dogs, um, kind of a big range. Um, we're also working on beef, so we are excited as we think about the longer term trajectory to have all of the meats that people love in the variety of formats that they're excited about. All right, so it will be a while before any of this is available in stores, but Upside's product will debut at Bar Cran in San Francisco. Good Meats product is heading to a restaurant in Washington, D.C. Local animal rights activists say they're supportive of the new chicken since it doesn't involve the slaughter of any live animals.